3.5 millimeter jacks are great. You can use them for everything. You can even. Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna be making a cheap Bluetooth receiver. I started off by going to the local Five Below and buying the worst Bluetooth headphones money can buy. This will do. They feel cheap, they sound cheap, and they are terrible quality. I would never buy these for their actual purpose. The bad audio quality comes from everything except the Bluetooth chip. The Bluetooth chip has plenty of audio quality. After unboxing them, you can see that the headphones have a button for power, a micro USB jack for charging, a hole for the microphone, and a hole for the light. I am now starting disassembly of the headphones. There are no screws to this part, it just pulled off. Inside, you can see the components, just the battery and the mainboard. There isn't much in here. I'm now going to remove the two screws that hold in the mainboard. And there you go, after pulling off the battery, the only thing holding in the board are the wires to the speaker drivers. And that's an easy fix with my soldering iron. Interestingly enough, these are pads and not through holes. We now have all we need. You can throw away the other stuff if you want. Now you can see the microphone, the USB jack, and the button. Here are my beautiful headphone jacks. They're super simple. They have a place to solder on three wires. One for left, one for right, and one for ground. The jacks are obviously for reflow soldering, so I don't need these little bumps on the bottom. I want to configure the finished product by mounting the battery on the bottom with the original foam tape and gluing the headphone jack on top of the Bluetooth antenna. The first thing we should do is cut three equal lengths of thin wire. I understand that this is magnet wire, but it should work fine. Now I tin all six ends of the wire. Instead of burning off the coating, forcefully tinning works good for magnet wire. I also tin all three pads on the jack. Now I solder on all three wires. Here is where I want to mount the audio jack. I first added solder to the left ear positive solder pad. And then I soldered it in place. Then I did the same for the right positive audio pad. I then soldered the negative wire to the left negative pad. There you go. Now let's stick on the battery and glue on the jack. I'm using the original double sided tape, but if that's not good anymore, you can use hot glue. Be careful that you don't get the battery too hot or else you might damage it. Now for the hot glue. I'm also using the hot glue as an insulator to make sure nothing touches. Now just wait for the hot glue to cool off and you're done. Here are some 3M earmuffs that I converted into good quality headphones. Let's make them Bluetooth. Okay, I know it looks a bit rough, but it works great. Here are some Bose sound cancelling headphones that I definitely didn't get at the thrift store for $5. And Bluetooth! These are some newer Bose headphones. Don't get me wrong, they're great quality. But why don't they already have Bluetooth? That fixes it. Now they're ready to go. Yes, I know it's ugly, but I'm sure you could get it smaller. I actually made one of these a while ago, but I broke it. Maybe I should make a protective case for it. So there you have it. I'm sure you could use it for lots- Oh yeah, I use an iPod. <laughs>